Sunday, innocuously enough, you know how rarely I use that word, I stepped to the mic and I said, I feel like this is as good a time as any to offer you the programs I find to be the top 10 in the country right now. And I listed my criteria. That's the thing about this. It is a sliding scale based on your criteria. I happen to value a few things and I heavily weigh the past three years. That's how I define a program, kind of a a three-year rolling snapshot. I had one big outlier that I exempted from my own criteria, which I reserved the right to do, and that was USC, but that was Sunday. Tuesday, I'm just under attack. Here we are. I'm under attack. That's not necessarily the reason we're doing the show on Tuesday. I'll give you the reason for that later, but I am under attack nonetheless. Now, some of it was predictable. There were, there were two teams that people took great umbrage with, and one of them was Notre Dame, and it was predictable. It was actually so predictable, I myself predicted it on the Sunday show. Roll it, Colin. Anyone who's going to tell me they're overrated here, anyone who's going to tell me Notre Dame is, is too highly rated as the number six program in the country, that's fine. That's your prerogative. Tell me who belongs ahead of them. Don't just tell me they don't measure up to Alabama. I know that's why I don't have them listed ahead of them. Don't just tell me they got blasted by Clemson in a playoff game. I know that's why I don't have them listed ahead of Clemson. Well, one of the reasons. Don't tell me they lost to Ohio State. I don't have them listed ahead of Ohio State. We always do the same thing. And now a passage from the comment section. Notre Dame consistently gets blown out in big games where we are told by pundits and the media that Notre Dame will compete. Notre Dame joined the ACC because they would be middle of the pack anywhere else. Notre Dame, what in the world? No, they, we continue. Notre Dame is absolutely overrated. Josh wants to talk about projection with Southern Cal, but won't do the same with Tennessee, LSU, or Oregon. Did you notice the part where he called them overrated but then didn't tell me who should be rated ahead of them? Did you notice the part where he called them overrated? Did you notice cyber proxy? It's time to cyber bully cyber proxy. Did you notice where cyber proxy told me that Notre Dame's overrated and then his entire basis for the argument was they get beaten playoff games by who? Alabama, Clemson, only teams I have rated ahead of Notre Dame. But I told you on the show... Okay, I don't I don't get to warn you about everything, but this is so this is as easy to see coming as dawn tomorrow morning. When I call Notre Dame a fairly highly rated program, someone's going to call them overrated and it, they won't pay attention to the context of where I rated them. They will just say, "No, cuz they get blown out in playoff games." And then I'll say, "Yeah, I know. All the teams that have beaten them, I have rated higher than them." That's how ratings work. And they'll say, "Yeah, no, no, they're overrated." Well, What's point B? What's the follow-up argument? I just told you, they get blown out in playoff games. Are you, take the bubblegum out of your ears. What are you doing right now? Bro, you're just a Notre Dame homer. That's true. Because if there's one thing I know about forts in Georgia, it is that it is an Irish stronghold. Has been and always will be. Notre Dame's not overrated at six. They would be overrated at three or two or one or four or five. They're not overrated at six. Just as in the past, when they've been rated or ranked in polls at various positions, it's not being overranked or overrated to be slotted at the four position and then go get beat by the one seed. That's not called overrated. Overrated would be if you were favored and then still got beat. That would be overrated. I don't... Colin and Jesse, this seems like the most common sense thing in the world. This seems like two plus two is four, and someone's coming in and they're saying, I don't know, have you you considered seven? I haven't, because I know what two plus two is. I know how ratings work. I do them all the time. And by the way, for those of you who love to selectively point out my Southern heritage and my Southern roots, would I not be the first person to call them overrated if they were indeed overrated? Even I'm telling you they're not overrated. Moving on. It, it, it was predictable with, LA, with, uh, with Notre Dame. But then, then my close personal friends, dare I say my second family, down on my bayou home away from home, my LSU brethren came at me. And I'm like, I'm like hold on, let me put a shirt on. What do you guys want? And they, they wanted to have a word with the fact that I didn't put LSU in the top 10. I guess it's, it's no small 
amount of solace that I should tell you I had him at number 11. Well, maybe we should have done a top 11. Had Oregon at 12, for the record. Uh, but no, I didn't have LSU in the top 10. So I, I got a ton of folks. Like 75% of the pushback I got from LSU fans was, do you know that no one outside of Alabama has more national titles than us in the 2000s? And I'm like, oh, yeah, I watched the games like you guys did. Did you listen to me talk about the last three years being all I truly care about when I'm weighing this? Or certainly, if it's not all I care about, it is what I by far most heavily weigh. LSU has got two 500 or worse seasons in the past three years. And then last year happened. Hey, Last year happened, and that weighs why you're up at number 11. I, I know the sturdiness of that program. I know what they're capable of. This is not a capability thing. It's not, it's not future forward thinking. It's not prediction. It's just where are you right now based on my criteria. So then, and here was the only argument that LSU folks really had. That is, how in the world are you going to put USC in there and not put us in there? That does make it sound a little hypocritical. I explained it on the show the other night. I just exempted USC because I feel that strongly, and I'll explain it to you later in the show if you stay tuned in. I feel that strongly about where they are. But, but what I did not have time to hear, and I couldn't reply to all you guys, I did not have time to talk about 2003. I didn't have time to talk about 2007. I didn't have time for it because that has nothing upon nothing upon nothing to do with what the program is today. Uh, frankly, 2019 has nothing to do with what the program is today. You, you look at LSU right now, okay? I, I challenge you to do this. I'm not telling you to forget 2019. Celebrate it until the end of time. I, 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 in case you've forgotten, I took that ride right along with you guys. I'm saying when you look at 2019, think about what has happened since then. And think about how much of what LSU was in 2019 has been just severed and cut loose from the program. What do you still have in common with the 2019 team? That's what I'm talking about, okay? If this was Dabo at Clemson or, or Kirby at Georgia or Saban at Bama, there would be reason to talk about something that happened in 2019 because there would be carryover effect. There, there would be a lot of overlap. There is no overlap with what LSU is now and what they were in 2019. So... What I also don't have time to hear is, oh, he's doubting LSU. There he goes, doubting LSU. Who in the world do you think sat here when everyone else was clowning you guys, hiring Brian Kelly, and I was wagging my finger at him and saying, you'll see. I had no doubts about that guy. And for the record, if we want to get into the prediction game, I would bet you every dollar in my pocket, and I'm wearing sweatpants, but follow me, every dollar in my pocket LSU will not only be in this segment this time next year, they'll be prominently featured there. I've got no doubts. I've got zero doubt. I was the one touting Brian Kelly. I was the one going on Baton Rouge and New Orleans radio and selling some of you guys who had doubts about him on Brian Kelly. So I've had zero doubt about the guy, have zero doubt about the guy, have zero doubt about the future of the program. It's not a prediction segment. It's a here and now segment. I flat out don't have LSU as one of my top 10 programs in the country right now, and that's about to change very soon. The end. I just wanted to have that addressed.